If a and b are irrational, can a to the power b be rational? This simple question has amazing history, which truly demonstrates that the more you know, the harder it is. A more restricted version of this question is known as Hilbert's seventh problem. David Hilbert included it to his list of the most important math problems to be solved in the 20th century. Hilbert did not believe that the problem would be solved during his lifetime. In his 1919 lecture, he specifically discussed 2 to the power root 2, and only 11 years later, when Hilbert was still alive, Rodion Kuzmin proved that this number is transcendental, that is, not rational at all. But the general question did not stay unsolved for too long either, since in 1934, nine years before Hilbert's death, Alexander Gelfond and Theodor Schneider independently proved the theorem to be true. And the proof is not exactly trivial. So what hope do we have for solving the problem? Well, a mindful viewer would notice that the question I asked in the beginning is a bit different to Hilbert's seventh problem. What does this word algebraic mean? A number is algebraic if it is a root of a non-zero polynomial in one variable with integer coefficients. For example, root 2 is algebraic because it is a root of x squared minus 2, but pi and e are not algebraic, which is not so easy to prove. So if we remove the word algebraic, does the problem become easier? Well, a complicated way to solve it is to use the Gelfand-Schneider theorem, because once it is established, we can show that root 2 to the power root 2 is irrational. If we pick the second number to be root 2, we realize that a to power b is rational. Right, but is there a proof which does not require a PhD in number theory? Well, something remarkable happened when one school student proposed this problem for a local mathematical olympiad in 1969. His name was Gregory Galperin, and you know of him implicitly if you watched 3 Blue 1 Brown's video on calculating pi with hitting blocks. He came up with this beautiful idea in his 2003 paper. Anyway, when he proposed this beautiful problem for a local math olympiad, he supplied a wonderful solution along with it. Pick both a and b to be equal to square root of 2. Now let's think about a to the power b. We have no idea whether it is rational or not, but let's consider possibilities. If it is rational, then the problem is solved, since both a and b are irrational. If it is irrational, Let's make a equal to root 2 power root 2. Well, a power b now becomes root 2 squared, which is 2, which is rational. And there is no third way for this system to evolve. Therefore, we answer the question affirmatively. We witness something called non-constructive proof, because we demonstrate existence of suitable numbers without providing a concrete example. We don't need to know whether this number is rational or not, because all logical chains end up with the same conclusion. This is beautiful, but there is a straightforward way to settle the question. We are dealing with exponents, so it is natural to think about logarithms. Take a to be square root of 3 and b to equal 2 log 2 base 3. Then a to power b is 2, which is rational. So we answer yes to our question. The only thing left to show is that the logarithm is indeed irrational. I want to thank Insightful for sponsoring this video. With the code MetaMaths, you will be able to get exclusive early access to Insightful, a streaming platform that offers access to thousands of fun educational videos based on your areas of interests, entirely ad-free.